I'm a computer technician. In fact, I'm a pretty good computer technician. The problem is, is how can I tell you as a customer, or you as a coworker, or you as a prospective employer, that I have the skills necessary to work on your computer? Well, that's where CompTIA comes into play. CompTIA stands for the Computing Technology Industry Association. They're a big, big organization that you've probably never heard of, but a lot of people you know are members of CompTIA. Everybody from Intel to Microsoft, Dell, if it's a name in the computing industry, they're members of CompTIA. Now, CompTIA does a lot of things for the computing industry. For example, they're the lobbying arm for Washington, D.C. in terms of laws or anything like that that affect the computing industry. But as far as we're concerned, the big thing that CompTIA provides is the a examination. Now, I need to be careful here because when we say a exam, technically that's incorrect because it's really two examinations. The exams are broken down as the CompTIA 220801 and the 220802 exams. You have to take both of these examinations in order to get your A-plus certification. Now, the 801 exam, that's more of a hip bone connects to the foot bone kind of uh, examination. Recognizing different parts, understanding the speeds and capabilities of different pieces of equipment. Now, the 802 takes that type of knowledge and builds on that. A lot of scenario questions, lots of questions that are based on, in this type of situation, how would you go ahead and fix that hard drive? Or if your computer wasn't booting, what steps would you take to make that repair? So you take the 801 and the 802 and you get your a certification. Now, these exams are administered by Pearson View. So you actually have to find a local Pearson View testing center in your area and you schedule yourself for these tests. You get about 90 minutes for each exam, and each exam takes roughly 100 questions, although this is subject to change, and you're going to have to check on the CompTIA website before you take the exam to verify these. So you sit down and you take the two exams. Now, you don't have to take both exams at the same time, but in our video series, we're going to kind of teach it that way. There's a lot of overlap between the exams, and in my opinion, you should take both of them together. So you take the 220801, you take the 220802, and at the end of the exams, if you're done, you're A-plus certified. Now, the tests themselves are interesting. For years, actually decades, CompTIA has made the test based exclusively on multiple choice questions. However, there are rumblings that will be seeing scenario questions. And in these types of situations, you'll actually have to be doing something in Windows or at a command prompt or something like that. So be ready for any of those. The most important thing you have to appreciate is that in order to take the exams, you've got to sign up for the exam. There are no prerequisites, there's no required training. You could walk up right now and just take the exam if you wanted to. But the secret is, is to have good training materials like, I don't know, how about this video series? Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Angry birds, really? You know you're supposed to be studying for your A-plus exams, right? And you do understand that uh, Angry Birds, while a very fun game, is not going to get you through the exams. You understand that, right? Okay, so let's talk about what you need to do to pass the A-plus exams. Number one, what I want you to do is set a date, either 90 or 120 days in the future, and I want you to call Pearson View or go to their website, and I want you to schedule for both the 220801 and the 220802 exams. You've got to schedule for both of them. It's not just one exam. Schedule for both of them, okay? Now, once you've made that schedule, you now have either 90 or 120 days in the future when you're gonna be sitting down to take that exam. Do you feel the pressure? Good, because you should be having some pressure. All right, now, to pass the A-plus exams, you're gonna need three things. Well, first of all, you've got this amazing video. This video is fantastic. I'm covering every subject there is on the 220801 exam and the 220802. So going through this video in detail is a great place to start. However, this video is designed to go with my very, very popular CompTIA a certification all-in-one exam guide, 8th edition. Now, this book ties very, very closely to the video. Not exactly, but pretty close. And you'll find that to be a great study aid that as you're going through the video, you'll see accompanying chapters in my book, and you can actually go into a little bit more depth, reread, take a look at tables and data, that type of stuff. So the book and the video really make a great combination to get you through the exams. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be taking some time in this 90 to 120 days. You'll be going through the entire video, following along in the book, 
doing practice questions at the end of the book, but as you start getting into about, oh, it depends for different folks. Uh, for me, it's always been about two weeks, sometimes as little as uh, 30 days before the examinations, you're gonna wanna go in and you're gonna start hitting practice questions. If you look on the back of my book, I've got a big pile of practice questions, but of course, pardon my capitalism, you can always buy more if you wanna get even more practice questions to help ensure that you pass the exam. You're gonna love my practice test. I actually tried to mimic the look and feel of the real CompTIA exams, and you can go through and you practice on these questions and you practice and you practice and you practice and you reference the video and you reference the book and you keep going through these practice questions until you get to the point where when you're passing my practice questions, you're actually gonna have no problem passing the CompTIA A-plus exams.